altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to me.
meditate on your glorious splendor I was made for you to walk in the cool of the day with you to gaze on the beauty of all you do to meditate I was made for you. Oh, I was made for you. To walk in the cool of the day with you. To gaze on the To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. It's by your will and for your pleasure. I just want to bless your name. I just want to make you glad. I just want to move your heart, God. Give you all I am. Oh, I just want to. I just want to make you glad. I just want to move your heart, God, to give you all I am. For it's by your will. And 
I just wanna play. 
bless your name And I just want to make you glad It's the reason I'm here And I just want to move your
beginning of human trafficking um, along the border of the United States and Mexico. And they really specifically focusing on Juarez. You're praying out of Acts chapter 2. The last day, says God, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on your men servants and your maid servants, he said that you would pour out your spirit in these last days, and that your men servants and maid servants alike would prophesy. So, Lord, we come before you this morning, and we we lift up to you the city of Juarez. And we lift up to you its its border town, El Paso, in the United States. And we bring before you the the entire border between the United States and Mexico and all, but we ask that you would begin to have your way in that region. But that you would begin to even just fill the streets of Juarez, even now with light. That you would send forth your light, that light would go forth, that you would begin to grip even major ringleaders, leaders in this industry, Abba. Lord, I ask for the most influential trafficker in that region. Abba, the most influential one, Abba, I ask this day that you would strike him with the spirit of revelation concerning Jesus, concerning the Son of Man. Abba, I ask that you would save his soul, that you would deliver him this day, that you would even just begin to remove all of the props that is that he is using to keep this industry moving and going forward. Abba, that you would starve it out. Abba, that you would expose all of his deeds of darkness and wickedness. Abba, Lord, I ask that you begin to just move with power in that region, that you would rest on the church, that you would give, Abba, an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to that region, that the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift of the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit would go forth all throughout Mexico, all throughout Juarez. Lord, I ask that you would pour out your Spirit, that you would pour out your Spirit on Juarez and the name of Jesus would be made known. In Jesus' name. Your word run swift. Let your word run swift. Your word run swiftly. Go forth with power. Let your word run swiftly. You're gonna go forth with power. Authority. Oh, that you would fill every street with your love. Street with your truth. And let your word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. Let, let your run. word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame Jesus. be told. Let, let your run. word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, oh, let your fame be told. Let, let your run. word run swift like Jesus. the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. Let, let your run. word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, oh, let your fame let be your told. Word let your word. Run swift like the days of old in Mexico. Let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old in Mexico. Let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old in Mexico. Let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old in Mexico. Let your fame be told. We ask that you to release the prophetic spirit in Juarez. Abba, that you would birth prophets in that city, that you would rise up 10,000 anointed preachers and teachers to prophesy to that region. Lord, I ask that you would begin to use your word to convict to the very heart leaders in this industry. Abba, that you would in the natural even begin to set free women and children because of the preaching of the gospel. Abba, that you would expose what is taking place, that you would give even insight, that you would give wisdom to the law enforcement in that region via your Holy Spirit. Abba, there would be busts that take place even this day, that beginning this day, there would be a mass exodus that takes place, that thousands would be, be delivered. 
I pray that you would deliver this day thousands of women in that region that are in bondage, that are stuck in this industry. Father, we ask that you would send forth your spirit and that you would raise up the prophetic voice to even prophesy specifically into this industry, to make known your heart concerning this industry, to reveal, Abba, your great desire for justice to break forth within this industry. So, Lord, we ask that you send forth your spirit and that your sons and your daughters would prophesy in Juarez in Jesus' name. Testimony of Jesus. Testimony of his name. To release the glory of his name. Deliver us. To raise up your prophets and your preachers. And put your power on their weak words. Oh, it war is. Deliverance. Deliver, deliver. Justice, justice. Justice. To raise up prophets like Moses. To deliver from the houses of bondage. Great deliverance. This day, freedom to the captives in war. Freedom, this day. Because it's burning in your heart, deliverance for thousands. So come and shake all the mountains. Set the captives free. So let your word run swift like the days of old in Mexico. Let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old in Mexico. Let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. Let your word run swift like the days of old. In Mexico, let your fame be told. pray for the ending of human trafficking this month's target city brisbane australia father we lift brisbane up to you this morning god we ask that you would open the heavens look down and see what is going on father we pray that you would see the cries hear the cries of the women and the children in brisbane god all up and down the gold coast father we ask that you would have mercy God, we pray that you would shine your light, shine your truth, Jesus. We lift this city up to you this morning, God, and we pray that you would end human trafficking in the name of Jesus, Father. We pray that you would expose what is dark in that city. Father, send forth your word, send your truth, send light to Brisbane this morning, God. Father, we pray that you would end human trafficking. Have mercy on Australia, God. Pour your spirit out in Brisbane, in, Je in Jesus' name. the darkest places and break the bars from the cages a oh, great deliverer come and break all the bars from the cages Your 
breaking, breaking as we break. Human traffickers are being shaken. In Australia, so would you break in? Shake everything that keeps us shaking. Australia. Expose what is dark, reveal your light, send your light, send your truth. We pray that women and children would go free today, God, in Jesus' name. Open the prison doors, Father. We pray for a mass exodus all up and down the Gold Coast, Father. We ask for light, Jesus. We ask for truth. We ask for mercy in Jesus' name. down and see from your habitation holy and glorious where is your zeal your strength the yearning of your heart mercies towards me O Lord you are our father our Redeemer from everlasting is your name oh that you would rend the heavens and that you would come down that the mountains might shake at your presence as fire burns brushwood as fire causes water to boil to make your name known to your adversaries that you would make the nations tremble at your presence. Father, I ask right now for the Gold Coast, for Brisbane, God, that you would make your name known today. Oh God, that you would answer from heaven, that you would gaze upon the injustice, that you would hear the cries of the injustice. Father, we ask that you would answer from heaven today with lightning and thunder. God, that you would set the captives free that you would end human trafficking. God, I ask for the uh, people that are uh, the instigators. I pray today, God, that you would cut off all their supply lines, that you would expose their works of darkness. Lord, I ask that you would raise up righteous men and women in government and the authorities, that God, that would have wisdom and understanding, that would expose these works of darkness. Lord, we ask for a great bust today. We ask for a great breaking in. Father, that you would extend your hand right across the whole Gold Coast, Brisbane area today. Father, you'd answer our prayers today, that you'd set the captives free. Lord, you'd hear the cries of the oppressed today and set them free. Break in God today, we ask in Jesus' name. Would you make known your name in Australia? Hear the cry of the afflicted. God, you said in the last days you'll pour out your spirit. I pray, pour out your spirit on your church today, God. Pour out your spirit on the believers, that they would rise up, that they would intercede, that take a stand today, that take a stand for righteousness, that they agree with heaven. Father, send light, send truth. Fill that region with righteousness. God, we take our stand and we ask God that you would lift up a righteousness on the Gold Coast today. Father, I pray that you would raise up righteous men and women that would stand in the gap, that they would say no to the wickedness, no to the injustice.
after day Slaves are sold, but God's got a dream A brook from the days of old And names on the pages are engraved in gold So save the souls Cause you formed them and fashioned them You handcrafted them from the mother's womb You formed them and fashioned them You handcrafted them They're not an accident You won't leave them as orphans left alone Because you, you made a city out of precious stones And you're the God of hope You can change the circumstances Take them from a brothel and put them in a mansion Well God's got a great dream It's taking those girls and it's wiping their slates clean Yeah God's got a great dream It's taking them from the ash heap and it's made Making them queens, God's got a great dream. It's wiping their slates clean. Yeah, God's got a great dream. It's taking them from the ash sheep and making them queens. God's got a great dream. It's wiping their slates clean. Yeah, God's got a great dream. It's taking them from the ash sheep and making them queens. Reveal yourself 
to them as their judge, as their father, the one who cares for them and loves them. God, establish their hearts in your love. Direct them into your love. God, and bring freedom to them today. Bring deliverance in the name of Jesus. Father, we come before you and we ask on behalf of women and children who are trafficked along the border of America and Mexico, in Juarez and in El Paso, and we ask God that you would shine the light of your countenance. Father, that in every dark crevice, your light would shine. Father, we pray that in every single human trafficking rink that you would save oppressors. Father, that suddenly you would turn a heart of a man or a woman to the light of your countenance, to the salvation in which your Son gave to humanity as he died upon the cross and rose again. Father, we pray just as you did with Saul, you turn this one who is destroying your church, who is persecuting believers, and you use this one to further the gospel of the kingdom. So we ask God, do it with oppressors. Do it with the worst of the worst, the hardest heart. We pray for a visitation and an encounter of your mercy. God, have mercy upon their souls. We pray today that you would open up the eyes of their understanding, that they would see Jesus for who he is, that they would see the wickedness that they are putting upon their hands and placing in their hearts. Father, we ask, come and end human trafficking in Juarez. Come and end human trafficking in El Paso. Father, we are believing that you will take those cities and you will turn them upside down. Father, you prophesy that over war as you would send revival. So we ask God, begin with the oppressors in the human trafficking ring. God, set women free. Let these ones be the deliverers of the very thing that they gave themselves to in wickedness. Father, I pray that you would come upon these men and these women. Release dreams the revelation of your son the only one who could turn a heart of a man the only one who could set us free from our sin and from our shame I'm asking God and human trafficking 
trafficking in Juarez and human trafficking in El Paso in the name of Jesus.
in Juarez, Mexico. Let your work run uh, 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 As they are, are not okay when someone is missing, someone is absent. Things as they are are not okay when someone is missing, someone is absent. Things as they are are not okay When someone is missing When someone is absent As they are are not okay When someone is missing When someone is absent There's coming a day when the bridegroom will be taken away And in that day they will And in that day they will fast Jesus, you said There is coming a day when the bridegroom will be taken away And in that day they will In that day they will fast Jesus, you said there is coming a day when the bridegroom is taken away, and in that day they will mourn, and in that day they will fast. And things are not okay right now.
continuing to pray for the ending of human trafficking and revival in Juarez out of Ephesians 1, 17 through 19. God, I ask you for the church in Juarez. I ask that you would come and that you would strengthen them, that you would enlighten the eyes of their understanding. God, that they would know what is the hope of their calling, what are the riches of the glory of your inheritance in them. God, would you come? Would you strengthen them this morning? I ask you for those that were strengthened by the strike force team. God, those who were sent out to strengthen them, I ask that you would grant to them boldness today, that you would give to them the spirit of wisdom and revelation, that they would speak truth, that your word would run swiftly that we would see human trafficking end in Juarez, that we would see it end in Mexico today. God, come with your spirit, spirit of wisdom and revelation. God, I ask that the church in Juarez would know what is the exceeding greatness of your power towards them who believe according to the working of your mighty power. God, we say strengthen them. Fill them. Send the Holy Spirit this morning. Send the helper to Juarez. We thank you for the gift of intercession that even now you are answering our prayers. You're moving at the sound of our voices. So we say send the Spirit to Juarez. Strengthen the church and end human trafficking in the name of Jesus.
suffering. You would see the labor of your soul. Receive the reward of your suffering. Jesus. Receive the reward of your suffering. Receive the labor of your soul. Receive the reward of your suffering. Jesus. Receive the reward of your suffering. You would see the labor of suffering Jesus receive the reward of your suffering that you see the labor of your soul receive the reward of your suffering receive the reward of your suffering you should see the labor of your soul receive the reward of your suffering Jesus receive the reward of your suffering that you would see the labor of your soul receive the reward of your suffering swiftly and be glorified. Holy Father, we lift up one voice today, one accord, a heart before your throne. We ask you for the saints that stand in the city of Juarez, Mexico. We ask you, Father, that you would pour out your spirit upon them. I ask you the word of the Lord would run swiftly upon the saints in that city. Father, I ask you times of worship and prayer, the abiding presence of the Lord would be thick and holy and mighty on their inner man. I ask you that their words would have weight and strength and glory on them. I ask you, Father, as they preach and teach and pray for one another and for the unbelievers in that city and in that nation, I ask you, Father, that the word would have glory on it. The spirit of glory as they preach, talk and speak to one another and to the unsaved. Father, I ask you, would you pour out your spirit upon the believers in Juarez, Mexico? I ask you glory to go forth on preaching. I ask you for the witness of the glory of Christ, for signs and wonders and miracles. Father, I ask you your words would be like arrows of light, arrows of glory upon the human frame. I ask you for deliverance, salvations, healings to go forth. Oh, Father, empower, empower, put your strength, put your power, put your glory upon the believers in Juarez, Mexico today. Would you strengthen them with your word? I ask you that the word would be like fire shut up in their bones. Oh, Father, that they would preach and teach and encourage one another. It would strengthen the saints. It would strengthen the community with words and acts of miracles and signs and wonders. Oh, Father, be present. Spirit of glory, be present among the believers in Juarez, Mexico. We ask you to strengthen them this day with your presence, with your power. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you for the saints in Juarez. I ask you the word of the Lord would run swiftly and be glorified. Like iron in their spirits, the word runs with the 
Mexico. Today, as we pray, would you strengthen your saints? Just strengthen your saints. Yes, God, bring them today. fortress, a high tower for the saints in Juarez, Mexico. I ask you, Father, every movement of your spirit would usher them into the revelation of your love today. It'd be, the Holy Spirit would manifest. They'd be thrust into the revelation of the love the mercy of Jesus Christ. Father, we plead your blood over their lives right now, their mind, their will, their emotions, their bodies. I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, would you usher them into the love of God today? Would you guard their hearts and their minds and their bodies in Christ Jesus? Father, we ask you for Juarez. We ask you for the saints who stand in that city. I ask you the word of the Lord would run swiftly and be glorified. Oh, Lord, receive the reward of your suffering. That you would see the labor of your soul. Receive the reward of your suffering. Receive the reward of your suffering. You would see the labor of the soul. Like today, Father. Like today in Juarez. Yes, God, do I.
Jesus, we just strengthen them. In the name of Jesus, we just strengthen them. In the name of Jesus, we just strengthen them. to break open 
the jars of your glory through their prayers and their intercession, Father. We ask you for your favor to be upon these little old ladies, abuelitas and abuelitos, Lord God, that have been there for so many years. Release your wisdom and clarity, Lord God, so they, they may know how to pray and what to say and what to release in Jesus' name. Oh, we need strength in your intercessors. Sing forth revelation. Give them revelation. Your wisdom, your power. Know the greatness of your power towards those who believe. Grace and power, grace and power. Your spirit upon them. You who have the spirit keys. of wisdom and revelation.
also upon these old ladies and old men, Lord God. I ask you that you would begin to speak your word. I ask you, Father, that you would give them dreams, God, filled with the future. Father, I ask you that you would begin to give them stories, Lord God, that are alive with your deliverance, with your freedom, Lord God. I ask you that you would give them your counsel, that they would go into villages, Lord God, pueblitos, and that they would begin to gather your church, Lord God, that your spirit of counsel would be upon them, that you would allow your word to go through them, Lord God, to teach your word to the church, Lord God, that is weak. Father, give them your authority through your spoken word and through your written word that they would be counselors to many who are weak. Father, that you would give them the authority of these cities, Lord God, throughout the borders, that they would begin to, Lord God, break open the jars of glory through your church, Lord God. Give them your heart. Give them your mind. Give them your authority that they may strengthen the church. Father, we ask you for your goodness, your patience, your kindness, your beauty to dwell with these old ladies. Father, that they would see the hope of their glory, Lord God, the hope of their calling, the church that is weak would be strengthened to be able to endure the race that is before them. Give them grace, give them your kindness, and keep them under the radar of the enemy, Lord God, that they would run to and from with your blessing, with your covering, with your angels, Lord God, that your word would indeed be spread through the land. Awaken your intercessors. In Jesus' name. that you see every area today that they are lacking and in every area that they are weak or discouraged. And so today, God, I ask through the riches of your glory that you would strengthen them with my, by your spirit in their inner man today, God. Lord, I ask that today that you would send to them the Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would make them firm in faith, that you would establish them and keep them God, I lift up the pastors of the churches in war as the ones that are openly standing against the drug cartel. And I ask God today that you would strengthen them, that you would strengthen their faith. God, I ask that you would give to them divine protection, Lord, to their families, that you would give them divine protection. God, I ask that you would send your spirit to the church in Juarez, that they wouldn't be ones that cower back in fear, that they would be ones that stand firm, that are filled with your spirit, filled with authority, that they would move and walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. God, I ask through your church in Juarez that you would release your spirit to the 
to, to Juarez, God, that there would be revival in Juarez. God, strengthen your church that they would know the hope of their calling, that they would walk worthy today, God. Encourage them, establish them, keep them from evil, keep them from the evil one. Send your spirit in Jesus.
头颅，做披。It's where I. 